Washington at Tampa Bay. Tampa Bay Buccaneers are three and a half point favorites in this game. I know there are trends about rookie quarterbacks going on the road, playing in their first game. It's not good. But so many other trends back the commanders in this spot. The short road underdog. The underdog who was not in the playoffs that I've that is playing on the road as an underdog. I've mentioned all these already. I think the most important thing, and and for people who are new to the show, we talk a lot about the luck rankings, which is this formula put together by the action analytics team, Sean Kerner, Nick Giffen, Billy Ward, and Nick Giffen has been on the show talking about this. I'm not going to go into detail on the formula. You should go to actionnetwork.com, look for luck rankings, type Type Action Network luck rankings in your search bar. It'll come up for 2024. All you need to know is that the Bucs were one of the luckiest teams in the NFL last year. The Commanders were one of the most unlucky, about in the bottom 10 of unlucky situations. The Delta for this game will be one of the bigger ones we see in week one. That alone makes me want to bet on the Commanders. The Bucs... Look, we are fading the Bucs this year. We are taking their under. I know Nick Giffen, he likes them to finish last in the NFC South, if you could find that bet. This is going to have to be on the table, taking the commanders. It's fair. Like, it's the same thing with the Miami Jacks. Like, they might be getting by those same storms, and it's like, what am I doing here? Like, that's why, you know, the Jags game I have a better feel for. This one, I, I feel like a lot of stuff you said, I don't really have a feel for it, where it's just like this – <laughs> this offense for Washington, I don't know what they're about to be. Is this really going to be just the Terry McLaurin show? And it's just Jaden Daniels force feeding him. And um, I, I'm, I'm happy to sit this one out. Like I've, I've, I bid, I did bet this one. I did take Washington. I think they were plus four, but I really never thought this would ever be one of our five. It's just like, there's so many other games I like and I have a feel for this one. I really feel like it's a ton of unknown and Chad just nailed it. It's like, I'm so negative and down the Bucks. I, I might be totally missing on them right now. It's just everything I see, it's not good. Like, I already didn't like them from my model, and then I have Nick Giffen coming in and giving me all that luck stuff where it's like it's one of the luckiest teams in all of football last year. That has to regress. So um, Chad's right. Like, I, I probably would still be on Washington. It's just they're down to plus three at a lot of books now. That's, that's tough. tough to take that number there. So I'll, I'll pass on it for now.